Hi everybody, I am Grisbel and today I want to talk about something I have been working on for the last couple of days and that is high performance HMIs. So when one of our clients wants to update their SCADA system, they will always think about high performance HMIs. The goal of the HMI is to point out any abnormalities or devices that need to be diagnosed. And you will start uh, designing the display level one to show the current process or the current state of the process. It's important to remember that the HMI needs to serve the operator primarily. We all know that many people in the organization wants to have access to the information and thanks to Ignition, that is possible. But the HMI needs to serve the operators primarily. The old traditional SCADA solutions have uh, like different uh, problems. And I have here some examples. Um, first, it's difficult to change things. So, having to redesign screens or making some of the screens to be customized by users uh, will take a lot of time and effort together with money. In some cases, the old SCADA solution just don't match with new technologies. For example, if you want to have a screen and then have a dashboard in this screen having videos, images, and some of the things from the new technologies, that will be very difficult. Also, um, the operators need to have better information. They need to be able to quickly uh, see if something is going wrong in the in this in the system. So with traditional HMIs, that is also um, difficult, and that's how or that's why we want to build some high performance HMIs. So our goal for this solution is to turn data into information and show it customized by users and roles. So first, let's talk about the HMI display level one. That's where you will start. So the HMI display level one is used to show the current state of the process and to point out abnormalities. So the first thing you have to think about when you start the process is what is the most important and critical information that I want to show in this overview? What is the information that will make the operator understand very quickly how the process is going? Also important is to give the operator some idea about how the process is behaving. For that, we can give uh, indication of upstream and downstream processes. Another important aspect is that it should be very easy for the operator to navigate into level two and then level three, so so they can zoom in and zoom out in the process very easy. Think about all the important information you want to show in display level one. For example, KPIs, trends, uh, historical data, mm, some video to explain something, images. What is something that will give the operator a very good overview of how everything is going on?
then you also want to provide visual indication of abnormal situations and alarms, of course. I know you're thinking, well, good, but give me an example. Okay, of course I will. So here you can see I have a dashboard because that's what we are going to design, a dashboard. Um, I know it looks good. Uh, I know it looks very good, but this is not a real solution. This is not an ignition. This is not a live solution. This is a dashboard that I made by hand. So this is a graph. Um, uh, I am using here some of the components that we can find in ignition. So the first thing I mentioned was um, you have to think what is the most important information uh, to show in the in the overview. So how can you start with that? Well, divide your process in different areas. For example, here I have different tiles. That means different areas. So find your process areas and decide what is the most important information for each of the areas. And then use visual help to show the information. In this case, we are using analog indicators. We are using spark lines to show the most recent historical information. Then you want to find what is the what which are the upstream and downstream processes and give indication of them to show how the process is behaving. So in this case, I have here, for example, two sections. So in the first section, I have two measurements, and then in the other, I have other two. So let's say this is upstream and this is downstream, so the operator can quickly assess how everything is going. Show only the most important information, for example, the name, the process value, and the engineering unit. This will be enough for the display level 1. It should be easy for the operator to navigate into the process so they can easily navigate into level two, level three, or more. So what we will do is to use headers in the tiles so when the operator clicks on the header, they can navigate into in this example, into the level two of this area one. So well, we, what we will do is to make headers in all the tiles so the operator can navigate into different process, process area or information. One idea to show other important information is to show also historical data of the measurements. In this case, you can see we have two tiles and they have measurements uh, with analog indicators and also with spark lines. In reality, this all will be in the same tile and you could be able to switch between each of the views in a carousel so you can at, po at some point see the values in the analog indicators but if you need you can also see how these values are in time or were in time with historical data. More important information like KPIs can be shown using different components in ignition for example here I have um, gouges to show different KPIs, but also you can use 
trends or time series charts and there are other type of graphs like for example the bar graph that you can use to show KPIs. Of course there are tables and other components to show different information. It's important to mention that not only components like this can be shown but also videos and images so you you can have different options to put in your screen alarms are also very important in the display level one so here you can see we have we have a section for the alarms but this is only like an overview of the alarms like the most recent alarms of course this tile will have also a header where you can navigate to the alarm screen where you will have a, the alarm status table with everything concerning the alarms we want to give uh, the operators the context so for that we use the analog indicators as you can see here they have this arrow this is for um, the actual value now and it has the desired uh, limits so we can see or we can quickly see uh, where is the value um, in the ranges in between the ranges so in this case you can see the arrow is out of the desired limits limits and also is in the yellow area so that means that this value is low and therefore we have the yellow border in the analog indicator that means a warning for example and the same happens here with the with the red border now the arrow is in the low low limit or low low alarm so um, we have the red border to indicate that this is an alarm so how we do it using ignition platform first we build widgets for each of the tiles I show you in my graph we build widgets for process areas KPIs alarms and we have this to be shown in a dashboard component so we have the flexibility to turn widgets on and on and also to uh, move them or organize them in the screen as we want that also gives us the flexibility to create different sets of predefined widgets based on roles so operator a operator one can have one set of widgets and operator B can have another completely different based on the process areas they are responsible for with this dashboard you can also customize how the screen will look like and not only how the widgets are organized in the screen but also if you have different roles with different hierarchies so for example um, users or roles in a higher level can have um, a completely customizable dashboard so all the screen is uh, a canvas for them or you can have another uh, solution another dashboard where for example for operators they can only customize half of the screen because that is the area they they are responsible for and then the other half of the screen will have the information they cannot change the information they cannot customize and the information 
that needs to be in the screen in the same place all the time. Now is the time to mention that, of course, all of this happens um, in a combination with the database. There is a database solution to handle all the information of the users, of the roles, and of the widgets. So, all the changes made by the user in the dashboard are saved in the database, so there is no risk of losing information. And, of course, every change will be saved in the database. No need to be uh, hitting a save button or you don't have to remember, oh, I have to save my configuration now. No, all the changes are automatically saved in the database. So there is no risk for you losing your information. We also prepared a set of default widgets for when the users log in for the first time. So if you are an administrator and you log in for the first time in the solution, you will have a set of predefined available widgets together with visible widgets that you can see in the first time. But of course, you can go and change that as you need. So this high performance HMI has some benefits that I want to mention now. And one of them is the flexibility. So again, we have a customizable dashboard that is super cool. And you can, you can combine users, roles and widgets. That means endless number of combinations for this dashboard. Another benefit is that this is a responsive solution, of course, because it is in perspective and it can be used in the desktop or in a tablet. So we don't have to spend more time building a new solution for a tablet. You can use this one in the desktop or the tablet. So that means no more hours or no more um, work or no investing more money in this. Another very important benefit is that this is super easy to change. For example, we could have an interface to configure the available widgets, payroll, and if there is a, a user with a higher level that can be responsible, for assigning different widgets to roles, then they can come in the interface and change that as they need. So you don't need to wait for the supplier to make small changes, to make um, changes related to what the operators need. You don't need to wait for the supplier to change this. This is all about high performance HMI display level one. I will come back later with more videos on the other levels. Thanks for watching. See you soon.